Hey, thanks for clicking on my video. Appreciate the support as always. On this video, me and my dog Wendell, we leave our camp in Wentworth, Nova Scotia, Canada, and we hit up some amazing trails. We stop at a lake for a swim, all to come find this here look off, and then we head back to a camp. We cook up a nice scoff and have a few drinks. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned. We'll get to the video. Thank you very much. Well, hello again guys. Thanks for coming back and checking out my uh, channel, my video. Appreciate that support as always. I'm down uh, by my camp today. We are in the Wentworth, uh, Westchester area of Nova Scotia. I'm with my dog Wendell. We're gonna go out and scout out a new uh, look off. Um, I seen it, uh, first seen it on my buddy Hero ATV. If you guys don't know him, check him out on Instagram and YouTube. He has one of the best ATV Instagram pages I, I follow for sure, probably the best. And then I had uh, some GPS tracks sent to me by my friend in Truro, Nova Scotia, East Coast ATV. He sent me some GPS tracks, uh, how to find this place. So I appreciate that. It is a hot one today. The only thing saving us is that we have a really nice breeze. So we're gonna take lots of stops and uh, cool off and swim. I know a bunch of spots to stop. Well, oh, there's a guy there filling up his big water jug from the river. Water container, massive one there. It's probably uh, watering blueberry plants or something. This area of Nova Scotia is uh, basically a blueberry capital of Canada, I think. Definitely of Nova Scotia. I know Oxford is big on the blueberries, so we'll take Wendell, we'll go down here, and uh, we'll get him wet. There you go. <laughs> the water's cold, huh, buddy? Yes. So yeah, I usually like to uh, let my dog run a bit to start off our trip, get that uh, initial burst of energy out of him. The piss and vinegar, we call it. Um, he loves to run, but uh, seeing as it's so hot today, I probably won't be letting him do as much running as I normally do. We'll see how he feels. Oh, I just uh, picked him up. Like I said, I don't want him running too, too much today. A little too warm. But uh, if you guys are liking these glasses, they are made by Rec Specs. Those were a sponsor to my channel. And uh, yeah, they're a great goggle for your dog. They'll keep them uh, safe from the UV, from the sun, and from the sticks, because I should really get a close up. Those ones have a bunch of marks on them. Not all of them are from sticks. Sometimes one will go and rub his face in the bushes if it's itchy and he doesn't really, you know, they don't know what they have goggles on, so he scratches them a bit, but they for sure saved his eyes a few times. And if you're gonna be bringing your dog out either on your boat, your ATV or side by side or wherever, it's uh, even in your truck, if they like to stick their head out the window, I know I got a lot of guys that uh, do the overlanding thing. It's a good, uh, it's a good thing to have for your dogs. So of course, uh, I'm using my uh, Polaris Ride Command app for all of my, well, that mixed with Google Maps. Um, that's what I always use for uh, my GPS. Works, uh, it's a free app. You can show your ATV trails, sled trails, and uh, it works even if you don't have service, like a GPS, you're still pop up there. I love the app. The only issue I've had with it was just recently I did an update and for whatever reason it deleted all, every single one of my uh, waypoints so everything I had saved is now gone it sort of sucks but I'll, uh, I had a lot of spots saved that I wanted to check out and but that's all right I have a pretty good idea where most things are at so we're using the player's right command and of course I'll always put the uh, trail number that I'm on down below in the bottom of the screen. So 
just so if you guys are following along or maybe you guys want to plan out your own route you can kind of see which trails I took. There goes a pheasant. Or sorry, a grouse. Wendell didn't really react to him. All right, so got out here to the, uh, these are uh, blueberry fields and uh, windmill farm roads. Not the funnest uh, video content, so I probably won't do too much filming. We're gonna hammer down and try and make up some time as always and uh, catch up with you guys in a bit. So as you guys can see, as far as you can see, it's uh, these are all blueberry fields. That's why we have such a high population of black bears up here too. See the trailer? You can't show it on the GoPro, but there's just a huge swarm of bees around that. Those are all uh, beehives that they will bring in to help pollinate all the different uh, blueberry fields. How are you? Good, man. Oh yeah, he loves it. <laughs> okay, thanks. Later. Ah, nice guy. Alright, we are 22 kilometers into the trip. <laughs> It's a long old uh, road, but uh, they fixed it up a lot. Like, it was always not bad, but now it's like a highway. You can really zip along. I think I was just kind of cruising along, probably around 50 kilometers or so. Uh, I just seen uh, a little baby rabbit. He's been dead for a while. Flies are all over him. That's sad. Don't know if he got hit by a hit by a four wheeler or side by side or something or what happened to him. But hard to tell now. He's almost gone. This is the uh, the highway or the road that will take you to uh, the ski hill if you go to the left, or if you go r right. You go down towards Mastown. Looks like the decks of these bridges are all redone. Nice to see. This is Stevens Road. Somebody did an excellent job putting in this nice new crossing here. So uh, we might uh, swing down. Oh, looks like somebody's got a lot going in right there. We might swing over here uh, to Folly Lake. That's the area we're in now, Folly Lake. And uh, we'll let Wendell go for a little dip in the lake. And depending, maybe we'll fly the drone around. I did notice the uh, the light back there was green, so might even see a train go by. Well, I said the light was green. I thought there might be a train, and sure enough, I seen a couple buddies from work there. Stopped to talk to them for maybe a minute, and they said, oh, the train's coming. <laughs> so, wish I had my drone in the air. But uh, we'll head over, take Wendell for a swim.
Well, a little uh, stop down here, Folly Lake for a swim. He's loving it. Water is crystal clear. Nice and cool. <laughs> First swim of the year for this guy. Yes, sir. Feeling cool down now? All right guys, so that's beautiful Foley Lake. There are some, I'll say quote unquote, cottages over on that side of the lake that make my house look like a shack. Yeah, some definitely some money over on the other side. It's a beautiful crystal clear lake. So this trail or this road goes by a bunch of camps and goes right by Hart Lake. So you, if you do come down here, you know, just drive slow. These are, you might have kids or dogs playing. My uh, co-worker has, his grandfather has a camp here somewhere. Unfortunately, he just passed away. Last name Code. So maybe I'll, uh, I'll see it here and I'll send him a picture. Yeah, it's not a big lake. It is in the sharp uh, shape of a heart. Hence the name Heart Lake. It's a beautiful little spot in through here though. So when you get to the end of the, the road, it's a little another road or snowmobile trail that branches off here and it's been a while since I've been through here and I, I remember this being a really beautiful trail. All tree covered as you guys can see. Feels like you're going through a little tunnel and it's nice and cool because you're in the shade the whole time. So, of course, my uh, map won't open, Google Maps. I'm guessing uh, just not enough service, maybe. But luckily, I took a couple screenshots of the GPS trail. 
and I think I'm in the right spot. Oh, this is pretty, pretty soft right there. Eh? I should uh, maybe put this thing down into low. Yeah, it's really soft. Uh, Grizzly's like a little billy goat though. It loves this stuff. Short wheelbase, really nice. I'm gonna try out uh, my player's ride command. I've never used a thing where it tracks your ride, so I turned that on just as I came in this trail. So I guess we'll see uh, see if it works or how well it works. So many people ask me about tracking trails, but uh, it's just not really something I ever do. East Coast ATV, I'm pretty sure he tracks all of his stuff because he has all these GPX files that he can send. And You guys should definitely go check him out. He makes amazing videos. His trip across Newfoundland every year is one that I uh, always look forward to. And that one's out now. Well, if you guys don't like rocky trails, this isn't the one for you. Another big tree down. Okay, uh, one trail is going off here to the right. Pretty sure I'm supposed to stay here to the left. And then I think that'll take us over to Annandale Falls, which I've been before, never on that trail. So never know, maybe we'll come back and go that way. This to me is my favorite type of trail. A little single track stuff. Got some muck here and a little spot to wash off. Reminds me of Sussex a lot. All these little streams and stuff. Oh man, the horse flies are out. Friggin' things. Ten cents for Annabelle's little college fund. <laughs> she really likes uh, getting monies, as she says. I usually save all my bottles and cans and stuff from work and collect all the ones that the guys don't really save and uh, bring them home and we'll take them in. She gets 20 bucks or 30 bucks maybe and teach her kids uh, the power of a dollar. I remember my uh, my nanny would always say, watch your pennies and the dollars will take care of themselves. So, that lady was really good. Never had a ton of money, but you know, when she bought a, when she bought a brand new Toyota Corolla back in the 90s, she bought that cash, single mother. She, uh, she was good at saving her money and kind of passed down through my dad and my mom and I'm kind of the same way. I'm fairly frugal. I don't live too lavishly. Uh, 
anything I have I usually try to buy out so I don't have to uh, have payments my Tacoma that I have now I use the money I got from my old one and use that as a down payment on my 2017 it was a lease return not not brand new a low miles and then I had to take a loan over for five years and I paid the paid the truck off in three years Well guys, looks like we made it. Look at this view. Might be too windy to fly the drone. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll see though. All right, made it up. I guess this uh, this is called Deer Rock Look Off. You can tell it's pretty windy. Don't know if it's smart to fly the drone. We'll see if I can before I leave. But a uh, nice little picnic table and a chair up here. Beautiful. And it looks like there's a hiking trail that leads back, back down to the ski hill. If uh, you ever want to go for a snowshoe hike or something. But... Well, there's no fires today and I definitely wouldn't want to have one up here with how windy it is so brought the little Coleman the uh, cast iron grill that was gifted to me by my aunt in Newfoundland oh man it's a hot one today thank god there's a breeze because it would be unbearable up here uh, getting the sausages cooking there now I got kind of like a little wind break trying to anyway Well, waiting for them sausages. Gonna have some melon dough. Watermelon. Mmm. Got some uh, rotisserie chicken. Oh, yeah, buddy. Horse flies here are just terrible. Saying that they have been kind of all day. Yeah, a little simple uh, lunch. Get back to the camp tonight. We'll cook up a, a nice scoff there and make up for this, have a few drinks. Well guys, got everything uh, packed up, put away. 
It's simply too windy today to fly my drone. Hopefully you guys can tell. See the trees and the stuff. It is pretty windy up here. And uh, I'm kind of happy it is because if it wasn't, it would be stupid hot. But uh, we're probably going to, we're all out of water, so we'll have to find a water source and we'll throw some water. Alright, off we uh, go. Oh, it was really too bad I couldn't fly my drone. It was so windy up there. It's weird because like, I come just, I don't know, maybe 50 feet from where I just was. And it's really nice in through here. Yeah, what a spot that is. I got a, I got it marked so I'll be able to bring my uh, brothers and hopefully my mom and dad can come. Seems like everything's against us here for getting together for ATV trip. So we're gonna go back the same way we came and then there's a branch road that takes us over to Hannondale Falls. I think that's the name of it, if I remember right. And I can't believe how fast the day's going by. It's already four. I got a ways to get back. We're at uh, 49 kilometers right now. Oh, bird. Oh, there goes another uh, rough gross. Oh, he's got little babies. That's what I seen. Yeah, I seen the little babies are running on there. So mama should be right down here. So it's a good thing Wendell's not. Uh... Oh, there goes mama right there. The babies should be right in here. But we're gonna hopefully leave everybody alone. Not here to hurt. Oh, there's, there goes Mama. She keeps flying farther away. Yeah, there she goes. So a lot of people don't know, but the grouse will uh, do that sometimes to try to get the predator or whatever's going after them away from their baby. So they'll kind of get to get that thing to chase them. That's I think that's pretty much what it was doing right there. Just can't get over how pretty this trail is. Lots of coverage. This could be uh, Fisher territory. It's like on my last video. Same type of forest, hardwoods, lots of cover. I think today, with it being so hot, you won't see many animals other than birds just because they're most animals are probably hunkered down trying to stay cool somewhere. Just seen this nice little stream coming, figured uh, <laughs> it's a cool dragonfly thing. Some of them are blue, some of them are like fluorescent green. This guy's green, two are green. Don't know if those will show up on the camera. Wendell's going after them. Here Wendell, come on, get a drink bud, that's why we're here. I just wanted to cool him down a little bit, it's pretty warm. Alright, so that's where we came. We're going this way. This is quite off camber here. Happy to have uh, my sway bar removed. Get a lot of questions about that, the sway bar removal. I love it. I will never go back to having one. Especially for my style of riding. I'm not doing power drifts around turns or anything. So I, I want all the travel I can get. 
and your uh, sway bar restricts that a little bit. That's why uh, the Jeep Gladiators and I'm sure the Rubicon and the new Tacomas, a lot of those off-roady ones, uh, they have a button that can just disconnect your sway bar temporarily so when you're off-roading it'll let your suspension work. Just got caught off guard. There's a cabin here. Man cave it says. I don't know if this is somebody's cabin or if this is one of like a shelter or not. Definitely getting some deer. Can you guys see the racks up there on the tree? Some decent sized ones too. The bottom one almost looks like a small moose, but it's it's too small. Yeah, so it's man cave. I don't know if this is someone's cabin or if this is a warming shelter. It looks like somebody's camp. So if anyone knows, let me know. I'm not gonna go down and mess with it now. Just in case it is somebody's cabin and they don't want Greasy guy like myself going in there snooping around with a camera. There's a nice little brook here. Could probably film film my uh, water container up. Might do that. Somebody found a good laying down spot. Hey? <laughs> nice and cool. I think I'll take him down and get him get his belly wet and stuff again. He's not panting, so that's good. He's ready to go home and I'm starting to get there too. Man, I'm getting eaten alive here. <coughs> Moose crossing. A bunch of buckshot and a couple rifle rounds through it. Well, if I'm looking at the map right, it's looking like I'm going to have to go that way. So, yeah. Filled up uh, two water bottles. I drank uh, one with electrolytes in it. And I chugged the other one. So that's two bottles there. Then I refilled both of them with just fresh uh, brook water there. And they're in my uh, cooler pack in the back, right on us. Like a frozen ice pack thing. Whoa, look at all these minnows. Can you guys see the water moving like crazy? Those are minnows everywhere. They must get trapped in here. Well, I can't 100% tell if I am going the right way. Uh, I'm gonna go through here. Yeah, I'll clear a little spot here and Hopefully be able to get through. Uh oh. Nice to have a power saw. Do some quick work of this stuff. Oh, this isn't too bad. Alright. Cleared up enough to get through. Hope that that's the last one we have to deal with because getting late in the day to be blazing new trail 
But man, oh, well, here goes a frog right there. We got a nice little footbridge there. That's nice. Wonder if this is the guy I met here one day, me, my dad, and Sean. And we were having a lunch down by the falls and he stopped and talked to us and said he had a camp up up the trail here. So I wonder if that's it. Bernie camp, Bernie's camp, something like that. Yeah, this is the falls here. A nice little fire pit right in there amongst the trees. It's a real nice pool right there. Why don't you go by the edge, buddy? I know, you don't like heights, do you? So yeah, you got a little swimming pool right there. One right here. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. And then uh, the drop-off for the falls. It's flowing really good today. It's quite the hike. There's a little rope ladder to go down over there if you want to come up. Check out the falls. Beautiful. I've taken drone footage here before. Maybe I'll uh, just find that and add it into the video so you guys can see it. All right. Well, we're going to rip home, I think. And uh, if anything interesting happens, I'll let you know. But uh, if not, I'll probably end up catching up with you guys either closer to the camp or at the camp. Whoa. What the heck? What are these squirrels doing? Do they want to get killed? Oh, they're trying to hook up. Look at Wendell. Get out of here. What are you two doing? <laughs> sorry, Wendell. I'm sorry, buddy. All right, made her back to the camp. It is hot. 75 kilometers on the dot, parking it right on the trailer. So uh, shaved off a little bit of time on the way home. Uh, may or may not have been legal or illegal, I don't know. But uh, yeah, we're back at the camp now, so we're gonna grab a beer first thing and then start thinking about supper. First beer, you might as well make it a strong one. Nine locks, frig off. One of my favorites. It's a strong beer. Wendell's hanging out. I didn't feed him yet because I have a couple of steaks I'm gonna cook up on the charcoal for him. Mix him with his kibble. And whenever I do them on the grill, I just put on some Lowry seasoning salt. And watch this stuff because somehow this stuff is saltier than salt. So don't go too overboard with it. Throw on just a little bit of garlic. And we'll do some pepper. Oh, 
we threw in some uh, wood pellets, give a nice little smoke. Throwing the wings on there now, guys. Got Wendell's steaks on over there. Just a little bit of oil on them, olive oil. Threw on a little bit more uh, uh, little uh, wood chips. Sit. Good boy. Ah. Okay, go get it. Good boy, Wendell. Good boy. All right. Well deserved meal. Got our Caesar salad. We got our wings, and we got our uh, corn. These little Caesar salad kits are delicious. Try one of these wings. Smell it, it just smells like charcoal and smoke. She's hot. Oh. Unreal. All you need is Lowry's garlic and pepper. I'll save all the ends for you, Wendell. Huh? One more horse fly down. Let's try our corn. It's nice on the grill. Alright guys, I'm going to finish up my wings and my corn here. I got some more wings on the grill. And give all the ends to Wendell. Probably have another beer. Catch up with you guys in a bit. Alright, well, finish supper. Got all my dishes done, uh, quick shower, only really one thing left to do. So I don't uh, show too, too much inside the camp because it's uh, shared with my family. And, but uh, there's a couple things I wanted to show you guys. One is these uh, Christmas lights. They are uh, shotgun shells. Just uh, glued on top of Christmas lights. Yeah, my dad made those. And then uh, another thing would be these cupboards. My dad made all of these. And this is all secondhand uh, countertops. He made a pretty cool. Uh, Light up there with a made it out of like a washboard. It says economy glass, Canadian woodware on it. I put a little light in behind. Oh, he's a little bright, but one of my favorite parts about our camp is these stairs. 
My dad made these along with one of our uh, friends. You guys can see the uh, it's cut right in. Our friend Tony is an excellent carpenter. So all these all slide in and then they have a couple lag bolts that we painted black. So yeah, it's a little bit of our camp. I don't show too much, but uh, pretty proud of it. Uh, we named this one uh, Done Wishing because we were done wishing we had a camp. We started building this in uh, 2012 and it's been 99% complete for a long time now, but we don't have as much time to get out and uh, really come down here and do work. Every time we're down here, it's more like a family get together, go for an ATV ride, but uh, yeah, love this place. Well, good morning, guys. Had a pretty uh, quiet night. Stayed up a little later than I wanted to. Uh, had a couple of drinks of whiskey there and listening to music. Something I like doing, just go on and try and discover new artists, see the lyrics and stuff. But uh, slept in today, and when I got up, I realized I left all my uh, breakfast stuff back at my house. So I got nothing for breakfast. We always have coffee here, so I just had some coffee. I guess I'll do a little fast until I can get something. Wendell had uh, the rest of his steak with his own kibble. He's down under my trailer now in the shade. It's pretty hot out today already. Uh, we got to do a few chores here this morning, and then uh, we'll probably be packing up and taking off. Nothing like that first morning coffee, though. guys all packed up here ready to go I uh, had to give the camp a good cleaning vacuum and wipe down everything uh, bikes all loaded all my stuff's taken care of so we're gonna hit the road got the AC on it's another hot one today it's 30 degrees Celsius feels like 41 with the humidity so got the truck going with the AC but uh, hopefully you guys like the video if you did like the video make sure you hit the thumbs up leave me a comment share it with your friends and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one cheers